Okay, hello Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and get a message from your ancestors and your angels. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you Virgos and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those and thank you to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody had a good weekend. Hope you're ready for the week ahead. I've got a card jumping out already. <laughs> okay, so we'll keep that because it kind of fell out on its own. Yeah, I hope you're ready for the week ahead, Virgos, okay? But let's see what the energy is like here. Spirit, what is the message here for my Virgos? Sun, moon, rising, north node and Venus. What is the message from their ancestors and their angels? We're going to start with a card from Archangel Michael. Let's see what he may be trying to help you with at this time, okay? What do we have for Virgo? What's the strongest energy here? So the card that you have coming out here, Virgos, it says focus upon divine and perfect health. And you have God and Archangel Michael. Thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. Okay. Now, the one that flipped out on its own, it says, decide to be happy now. It says, thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy and bliss. It says, I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. Okay, so it's pretty good energy. It feels like for some of you, you have been working on yourself, so you need to. It does also feel like a little bit of an energy of acceptance here. So... Give me a card for now and a card for going forward for the side, for the side, for the, uh, for Virgo. <laughs> what do we have for Virgo? Give me a card for now and for going forward. Okay, so we're stopping that opportunity and right behind it you have don't stop, Okay. So it looks like for some of my Virgos, there's great things ahead for you. Um, again, with this energy of seeing all the goodness in my life, someone here maybe, like I said, after maybe removing, I don't know, some sort of negative people, mindset, whatever it is, right, that the acceptance energy is. It feels like someone here with the energy of opening their eyes is now kind of seeing that, you know what, there's more to life, Um And it kind of feels like also an energy of gratitude. Because it's almost like I'm hearing somebody say, do you know what? Things could be worse. But for someone here, it looks like things definitely could also be better. Opportunity. Show me more. And then you have unlikely coming out. Going forward. And you have get more information at the bottom of the deck. So let's see. I want to see what this unlikely card is. Unlikely. Why is that here? So unlikely is a number 82, which could be significant. Or the number 28, but it does boil down to a 10. So again, the 10 talks about completions, endings, that kind of a thing. So 82. It says unlikely. It says the situation you have asked about is unlikely to occur. It says as you are imagining it. It says there may be a different version of events that will take place. It says or it may be that what you have asked for is simply not in your highest good. It says, place your focus on an alternative possibility. Open your eyes to different opportunities. Interesting that we have opportunity out here. And I was just saying something about opening your eyes. It says, be willing to experience a unique and more uplifting outcome. It says, than what you have planned for yourself. Okay, so. Okay, let's see. It almost makes me want to kind of reverse them, but I'm not going to. 
What is the opportunity? Why is opportunity here for Virgo? Yeah, we have awakening. And the awakening card is a number 12, which boils down to a three, which is making me think of the three of ones. So again, this energy of, you know, uh, planning. Um, it's almost like an energy of fantasizing about what you want your future to look like and kind of going after that. Um Three of Wands for me is also, you know, seeing the bigger picture of a situation. It says, look at things from a different perspective. It says a temporary standstill. It says it's important to be yourself. Show me more. Yeah, we have the Six of Air. This is moving forward. This is moving to calmer waters here. You know, this is getting away from that five of swords energy, which can talk about conflict and, you know, playing kind of petty mind games with people and lies. And just it's just the five of swords is just like a messy energy to me. Um, six of swords. This is escaping that this is deciding that you don't want to be a part of that anymore. It says things are looking up. It says the end of a difficult situation. It says taking a trip. I don't know why I'm getting this energy where there may be a Virgo in here where you may have felt like you were some sort of a target here. Um, and this could be in the workspace for some of you, actually. I mean, it could have to do with maybe family as well. But I'm also seeing like an energy of like almost competition in the workplace. But it's that energy where spirit is saying to whoever was in competition with you, you know, they shouldn't compete where they don't compare. So I don't know. Show me more. What's opportunity? We have the four of pentacles coming out here. Now, for some of you, it looks like you're trying to find new ways or ideas in terms of how you can bring in more finances for yourself. Right? You may feel like, you know, you're kind of penny pinching a little bit or you have to kind of be, you know, uh, accountable almost for every penny that you spend. It's almost like there isn't room for, I almost want to say for someone like maybe to save or maybe you, there isn't extra money for certain things that you may want to do, right? Like a, with the um, Six of Swords here, you may want to go on a vacation, um, but it's that energy where you kind of revert back to, <clears throat> it's that energy where you kind of revert back to like, um, can I afford it? So Four of Pentacles, it says being too fearless or too cautious about money. It says good business decisions. It says giving to those less fortunate. Show me more. You have the Seven of Water. Now, the Seven of Water is that energy almost of like confusion or there may be a decision here that is too difficult to make or that's how you feel. Or maybe some of you want to leave a situation, but it's like, how do I move away from it if I don't have the finances to back me here? So some of you may be in a situation where you kind of don't want to be attached to it anymore, whatever it is for you. But there may be like, like I said, financial ties or you don't have enough savings to kind of, let's say it's a home, right? Let's say you do a, you a, you share a home with someone and you don't really want to share a home with that person anymore right could be a roommate whatever and you kind of just want to get out and kind of and look at that as I'm saying home right look where I'm part in the deck right on the four of wands okay so for some of you um let's say you don't want to have a roommate anymore you would like your own place but you know you can't afford it it kind of feels like um you need to it's almost like spirit is saying there is an avenue here where you can kind of find a solution to this problem but you've got to be able to see it the seven of cups it says a complex decision it says the need to do research it says stop procrastinating give me one more an opportunity yeah the tour of fire you know it talks about making decisions it says you've come into your own. It says new partnerships or contracts. It says continue to move forward. Like I was saying, some of you, you don't see what is coming towards you. 
you may feel like something is unlikely. No, I'm never ever going to be able to do that or I can't see a way to get this or to whatever it is, right? Spirit's saying if you keep believing and trusting and keep moving forward, no matter how small the step or the movement, right? It's like, it's almost like they're going to open up doors for you. I don't know. What is this unlikely? Someone also feels like some sort of decision they make is going to cause some sort of a conflict. What's unlikely? You have the King of Cups. So this could be an energy about following your heart, but let's see. Coming out sideways is also a blockage. You have the Renew card. Show me more. That's the Sun and that's the Three of Cups. What's this King of Cups energy? Seven of fire and a six of water. I feel like for some of you right now, this could definitely be another person, but with the ancestors and angels message, any cards that kind of come out for me, I'm going to kind of direct it to you. So you take it out, resonate. This king of cups could be coming out, whether you're male or female, okay? It could be saying that, hey, listen, you need to kind of follow your heart in a situation. It says, open your heart and mind to those around you. It says, trustworthy and heartfelt advice. It says, charity work. And then the renew, it says, review and evaluate. It says, a favorable assessment of the facts. It says, time to move in a new direction. So you see the energy is very positive here, but it's that energy of trusting knowing we've got the queen of war under the deck so for some of you this could have something to do with a relationship okay i'm also hearing the word marriage so i don't know if this is an energy where maybe you thought something wasn't going to work out for you but it actually does show me more about this king of war Yeah, look at that, the Nine of Cups. That makes the Ten of Cups. So it talks about your wishes coming true. It says concerns fade away. It says a love of a life. The Queen of Cups, she's still there. It says relationships develop to a new level. It says trust your intuition. It says care for yourself and others. What is the renew? Damn, what is the renew? <laughs> it's the ace of fire, the ace of wands. An exciting new opportunity. It says career advancement. It says change your life now. But then it goes back over to here before we get there, right? With this seven of cups energy and this six of swords. It's about spirit saying, listen, it's time now with the two of wands for you to open your eyes and see something. Yes, from a different perspective, but it's also a time for you to open your eyes and make some concrete decisions for your own life, for your own happiness. Decide to be happy now. Hmm. One more. The Virgo. Yeah, damn, look at this, Virgo. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Alright, so what is this? Because you got the Ten of Pentacles, you got the Ten of Cups, but you got the Three of Swords bang in the middle. So let me clarify the three of air. Why is the sadness right in the middle of two brilliant cards? Uh, it might be someone else's energy that is going to be in this three of swords here. Because it's almost like this may be someone who kind of sees that. You, it almost feels like for a Virgo here that you're almost going to be blessed on both sides. Ten of cups, contentment, rewarding family life. It says emotional and material needs are met. It says trustworthy relationships. Ten of Pentacles, again, a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. Six of 
So uh, for some of you, you're already in this decide to be happy energy then. Thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy and bliss. I am willing to see all of the goodness in my life. There may be an, another energy here, Virgos. I um, I, I feel like I just want to say that, you know what, there may be in their emotions about you deciding to live your best life. However that looks for you. However big, however small, right? There's a Virgo in here where they have gratitude for the things they have around them that they have gratitude for it's almost like energy of having gratitude even for like the tiniest thing thank you for waking me up this morning you know thank you for providing this meal it that's how it kind of feels like there's a virgo in here that is almost like that very grateful and i feel like that shows on the outside as well as the in and i feel like because of that energy yeah, I feel like I'm definitely talking to someone. <laughs> uh, anytime I get like goosebumps or things like that, I feel like I'm connecting with someone. But um, it feels like because you being in that energy is what spirit is very much bringing back to you. Blessings. Look at this woman. Look at all that gold she's catching. Opportunities. So what is this three of air? Because it says great sadness. It says take time to heal. It says the need to forgive yourself and others. Now, if this three of swords energy is you, Virgos, I don't know if there's something here to do with, like I said, maybe family. It could even be finances as well here. Um, clarify this three of air. Why is the three of air here? The queen of water. Cancer Pisces and Scorpio energy. Who's this Queen of Water here? Now, this could just be showing me that, like I said, that maybe you have healed. Who's this Queen of Water? Ah. I don't know. <clears throat> I can take this Queen of Water two ways, right? Some of you, yes, you may be dealing with a water sign. And for some of you, you're taking on this energy because I'm seeing the High Priestess here as well. So some of you may have water highly aspected in your chart. But for some of our Virgos, following your intuition is what's bringing in this change because you have the wheel here as well, the Wheel of Fortune, okay? But then this, you, you got unity and then you have the Ten of Fire. So again, I don't know if this is someone who wanted to partner up with you. I don't know if this is someone who wanted to be in a relationship with you. I don't know if this is someone, um, like I said, where it kind of feels like maybe a little bit of energy of envy or jealousy um, here. You know, this could be someone where they see, like I said, things are happening for you, right? Your life kind of looks easy. Things are moving forward. It looks great, right? You're in a great space. And then whoever this is has a ten of wands attached to them where they feel like, Life is heavy, life is a burden, life is difficult, they're feeling stressed. Hmm. If you are spiritual, this could be someone who is um religious. It doesn't just yeah. You may have different views on life. Chariot, King of Pentacles, Knight of Air, the Empress. What else do you have for Virgo? What else do Virgo need to know? Thank you, Spirit. So almost coming in the reverse. <laughs> almost coming in the reverse here, Virgos. It says, make the best of every situation. It says, with God, everything is possible. But so why is it coming in the reverse? Who doesn't believe that? Yeah, you have little faith. You have see everything through the eyes of love. And this is what I was saying. You've got this King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups, energy coming out with this renewal. The Ace of Wands. Love is the highest vibration of all. So it doesn't necessarily say, oh, you know, 
you have to be in a relationship. No, this could be an energy of self-love. It's almost like an energy of somebody just knows that they are deserving. It says love is patient and kind. It says love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. Yeah, it's almost like I'm hearing spirits say, do you know what? Love is also about compromising, you know? Not competing. You have walk away from illusions and towards truth. It says, show me the right path, O Lord. It says, point out the road for me to follow. So you need seven of cups, right? Six of swords. You need some sort of guidance or some sort of um sign or synchronicity that, hey, you know, Spirit, show me that I'm doing the right thing by walking away from this or show me that I'm doing the right thing by, you know, doing this. And they will send you a sign. Mm. Some of you really need to be careful about the people that you have around you. People that you trust. <clears throat> what do we have for Virgo? Sure, you got this card last time, but let's see. Can I get one more? Bottom of the deck, you have be honest with yourself. And it says, look into your heart and you will know the truth of the situation. It says it's safe to admit the truth to yourself. It says, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. It says, lean upon us for courage and strength to take good care of yourself. It says, focus upon your true desires and they will come to you upon angels' wings. So you have let your past go. And that's interesting. It hit the card that says decide to be happy now. So it says the burden of carrying your past around has made you weary, dear one. It's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind you. You don't want it or need it. And it's now gone. You have fresh air. It says your body needs fresh. Your body needs refreshment from the oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants and flowers. Spend time outside today, as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. You have cleanse and detoxify. It says with great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress. It says, as well as ease any sorrow at shredding your old ways. It says, give your cares, worries and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. And then you have ask. It says, ask us to help you in this situation. Didn't another card say something like that? It says, ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. It says we've governed, it says we're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we, pay, so we patiently await your request. So it's almost like, yeah, spirit is waiting for someone to decide, you know, what it is that they want to do, which direction they want to go in. And, you know, it just feels like, you know, free will. It says they will still assist you, you know, but it's that energy of make sure you're not kind of living in this illusion energy. Seven of Cups It's paired with it's paired with awakening. You know, it is there something here that is also holding you back financially. Is it affecting your finances? I'm also hearing something about someone who you just do too much for other people. And I think it'll feel like it's time to put boundaries in place. 
What else do we have for Virgo? How do you want to end this reading? Thank you, Spirit. How do you want to end this reading for Virgo? Bottom of the deck, you have changes coming. It's the number seven. So it says, I'm here to guide you through this exciting transformation. It says, this is a time of joyous opportunities. Yeah, Archangel Michael is with you now. Even though you can't see it, I'm actively working on this situation. I'm here and helping you. Trust your angels. So you have deeper insights are at hand. Again, this energy of awakening and seeing things from a different perspective. When I was saying at the beginning, you know, it was reminding me almost like the three of wands. It says your overall plan is good, but the details need work. It says reflect before moving forward. And then you have number eight could be significant. And then you have 12 again, like the awakening card. It says embrace your life purpose. So this is someone, okay, I'm seeing these butterflies, right? And it's making me think of, yes, um, almost like the death card, right? Like someone's had some sort of death and rebirth or some sort of spiritual awakening or um, the death card talks about transformation, right? So now that you've had this awakening, you can't stay around the same people. You you know, it could be anything for you, right? Um, maybe someone feels like, you know what, I, I'm, I can't stay in this job anymore. I'm just being pulled. I know I need to work for myself. Or I know I should be doing this. Or I know I should be working with children. Or I know I should be working with animals. It, it's, it kind of feels like that. It says, I am guiding you towards your divine life purpose. It says, whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. Following your heart. Virgos, that's the energy that I picked up here today. I do hope that something has resonated with you. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys.